Hello there guys, uh, this is Stranger Hydra 9 and we're back for part 4 of the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Uh, here we are outside of White Run on a kind of foggy, I believe it's an evening. And uh, this episode we're going to see what the y'all or all or however you want to pronounce it is, uh, is what he wants from us. Because that is our current mission. So I was a little bit quiet in the last video. I'm just letting you guys kind of absorb the scenery. Um, absorb the atmosphere. Try not to be, you know, don't like, just like, where well, you can't hear anything. I think it just, um, I think it's a testament to the kind of immersive quality of uh of Skyrim in the sense that I get I get just as involved with this game and just kind of kind of get zoomed in on, on what I'm trying to do and just the environments and everything of that nature. Okay. Why did I come this way? What what's happened here? It's okay. Not really gonna hurt us. Whoa yeah we can take it. So here we go into our first city, which is white one. Pretty exciting. And the Yarls are kind of like the district leaders. They're kind of like dukes or whatever you want to call them. Pretty sure there's an entrance over here. I think I've, I think I've actually gone to a to yeah, white one stable. Uh, you can buy a horse too in this game, which I might do later. Um, unfortunately, in my Xbox playthrough, I bought a horse. And uh, it got killed by enemies within about five minutes. Um, because for some reason the horse actually attacks your enemies. I don't know if this is just because it was a war horse or what, what's going on there. But yeah, that was kind of foolish and uh, it got killed very quickly. Um, which lost me a thousand gold, so I'm... I kind of... City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Alright, alright. Let's see. Level what's called for the Yarl's Aid. I have news from Helgen about the dragon bow. Let's see. Yeah. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Okay. Keep an eye on me. There we go. So we are entering White One. We are going to see the Yawl. And we are going to see what's going on. We're gonna tell him about the dragons. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. And there you see, like, just just dialogue, like, about how the Imperials are trying to get, you know, armed to battle against the Stormcloaks. So basically, what you have going on in Skyrim is is a, a civil war. Um, and I really want you guys this feedback on if you want me to join the Imperials or the Stormcloaks. Uh, which which kind of branch you want to see this gameplay go into? So that that's pretty important for me to get you guys this feedback. And uh, again, I want this to be like you guys are playing with me uh, during this gameplay. So I'm very excited about this. Who is this? I, once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. What do you know of the Kajik? About the same as everyone else? They're the catfolk of Elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Hmm. You mentioned trading caravans. Yeah. These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Why not? Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. Ah. You know how it is. Interesting. Looking to become a merchant? Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. 
Interesting. Maybe I can help you. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Sounds good. Okay. Farewell. So we need to get a mammoth's tusk, which is probably going to take us a little while, but again, that's just one of the side missions. I mean, you just like, you'll just, you just talk with a random person, bam, there you go, you got a side mission. So that's exciting. Have to be look out, uh, be on the lookout for a mammoth. What would you have me do then? Nothing? My lord, please. What's this the no meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruck is not receiving visitors. Alright, I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Alright, Ethan. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? I did indeed. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? Uh... Yeah, let's do this one. The dragon destroyed Helgen. Last I saw it was heading this way. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that the Yarl dragon of is lurking in the mountains, will view that is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, mm -hmm. perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Alrighty, let's go find your court wizard. Which I'm pretty sure he is he over here. Yeah, he is. Let's go talk to him. What is he going to say? Look at this map, too. It's pretty cool. I have a premium physical map, so it's just awesome just looking at Skyrim. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all Come the to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. And... Da -da 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 -da. Let's just go straight for it. The Jaws said you needed a project. I mean, you had a project you need help with. Ah, indeed? The Jarl. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Of course you do. Isn't that always how it is? Am I going, what, what does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? So what do you need me to do? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. 
simplicity itself. Okay. Anything you can tell me about Blade Falls? An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords. Perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. If you remember, guys, this is what I was talking about. Um, in the second video, right after we came out in Skyrim, uh, those stone ruins that I was talking about will be a later mission. This is that mission. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Oh, I need that. I don't really need to learn any magic too much, so that's going to be about it for him. Oh, let's see, can you enchant weapons and armor? Ah, students of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. Okay. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that too. Interesting. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have Which you probably order. don't, so that's gonna be it for you. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The yard is not use to fight. Alright guys, so I'm off to Bleak Falls Barrow right now. Um since a lot of that is just gonna be traveling there and what not, um, I'm gonna cut here and the next episode will pick up uh, at Bleak Falls Barrel. I hope you guys like this episode. Please leave a like and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and uh, please leave a comment uh, on if you want me to join the Imperials or the Storm Cloaks or anything else you would like me to see, um, anything else you would like to see done in Skyrim. Um, thank you guys again as always and I will see you guys next time.